They're, they're terraforming here in Seattle, aren't they? Adventures in terraforming. Making a stop. Posting in the urban yes. environment. Fuchsia's, Fuchsia's definitely gonna like it here in Seattle. No question. The thing that really loves the Pacific Northwest is blackberries. Look at these blackberries. All the way to the street. June and July. Oh my goodness probably eating a lot of berries right here a lot blackberries love the Pacific I'm loving Northwest. the Seattle vibe they're definitely terraforming here in Seattle this stuff is cool. very cool nice steps going into the pea patch this is a white and chlorophyll huh Look at that little interesting little equation there on the steps. So we come in to the Belltown Pea Patch. There it is. I'd say come visit. It's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. Ooh, the nasturtiums are just sprouting here in Seattle. That's kind of cool because they're also sprouting behind the orange curtain. It's so amazing how the Pacific Coast does share a climate and certain types of plants even though it seems so much different. Artichokes. The artichokes are doing so well here in Seattle. They seem really happy. Somebody's got a little grapevine going here. And there's some rhubarb. Definitely not going to be growing any rhubarb behind the orange curtain. Hydrangea is nice. Yeah, I'd say the Belltown Pea Patch is a thing to visit. It definitely represents some terraforming. Look at the dahlias still in bloom. It's Thanksgiving almost. And here we have tomatoes in Seattle in November. Of course, they're almost done. But then here's some rhubarb and some spearmint all growing together. My goodness. I tell you, the Pacific Coast climate, the microclimates that exist along the Pacific Coast are pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Yeah. And that's Dershams. Little hens and chicks. Some sage. This is the best looking sage I've seen. Somebody's got some nice looking onions or those are males or probably leeks. I'm going to say those are leeks. But one would think a lot less greenery in November this far north. But no, because we're so close to the Pacific Ocean, this climate zone has still got some greenery. Still even got some geraniums, well, polygoniums. Yeah, Pacific Northwest, all of the Pacific coast is a very interesting microclimate very interesting microclimate part of the reason why is because the way it's facing here on this slope the cold air is going to drain off that's part of the why you get this ability to have so much growing even in november Microclimates, microclimates, learn about microclimates and you will be a better gardener.